Angelo here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Here's my stream. So, guys, the servers are going to be dropping soon enough. Five minutes till. But I figured there's 3.15.0D patch notes. So let's go over real quick. This is posted by Kirian at Chi Triple G. And the 3.15.0D patch notes. Improvements and balance changes. The freezing pulse skill used by undying cultists spawned in the expeditions no longer has added additional chance to freeze. Interesting. Okay. Uh, increase the chance for expedition bosses to appear in level 68 and above logbooks. Cool. I haven't even gotten a logbook yet, but eventually, hopefully soon. The storm cast by Vorana last to fall now despawns when no players are in range of it. Vorana is also now immune to danger damage until players have re-entered the storm. Interesting. I guess that must be something I haven't seen yet. Uh... Improved visibility of new dialogue options available for Danig after discovering ancient Kalguran texts. Danig will now have an exclamation mark over his head for new translate text dialogue options. You have discovered in that instance. Again, have yet to get... I don't get Danig that often, but maybe because I'm still running through the axe. He's more of a higher level one. I get a lot of Gwenning. And now recently, uh, was it Tujin? I think, right? Next, we have rapier one-handed swords are once again classified as thrusting one-handed swords. Their weapon range is again 14 instead of 11. Please update your item filters. <laughs> Reduce the number of molten shell goatmen in maps with area inhabited by animals. Modify and reduce the number of molten shell goatmen in Oba's Curse Trove. Oh, so that's how people are killing themselves. Ha 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 ha, I get it. Yeah, because they were talking about that during the uh, um, thing. See here. Uh, reduce the damage dealt by leap slam skills. Man, man, were people really getting fucked up by Goatman? Wow, Goatman, you're OP. OP, Goatman. Now deal the same damage in Act 1, up to about 33% less damage in the late, late game. Okay. Reduce the damage dealt by Molten Shell skill used by Goatman in late game. Now deal about the same as Act... Okay, so basically, yeah, they nerfed... Man, all the Goatmen must rise up. They have been overly nerfed. And then Aquamine Flask now grants 60% reduced effect of freeze on you, previously 40. Uh, the Curing Flask effect now grants immunity to poison for 4 seconds if you while wow, poison. Previous, okay, so now they dropped all those, so all the dousing, the grounding, and heat flasks all are now for 4 seconds instead of the 1. And they also provide 4 seconds of immunity, previously 1. So yeah, because 1 second is like, dude, 1? <laughs> Doesn't do anything. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Then next we got uh, the of staunching a flask now grants immunity for bleeding four seconds. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. Yeah. Previously, let's see. Oh, okay. And grants immunity to corrupted blood. Interesting. Well affected. Previously, just removed corrupted blood when used. Oh, I see. Added a buff icon for corrupted blood immunity. Nice. Nice. I like that. I like that. Uh, the Arctic armor player buff now grants immunity to freeze. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. And that's nice. That's a super buff. The cast time for Summon Reaper is now 0.6 seconds, previously 1 second. That's, that's good. That's almost 100% almost, uh, increase right there. Um, what is it? Uh, Blade Trap now has plus 0 to radius at gem level 1, up to plus 6 at radius, 2 radius at gem level 20. Okay, so that's good. So that's a buff as well. Absolution now deals 21 to 31 physical. Oh, that's a super buff. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like extra. I don't even know what Absolution is. And yeah, big time buff near the end. Holy shit. And Sentinels of Absolution now deal 242% more damage at gem level 1, scaling up to 429. More damage. Okay, nice, nice. Let's see here. And then, let's see, we got... Lowered the damage penalty on bleeding for the Summoner Reaper. Overall, this means they have approximately 114% more bleeding damage than before. In future, we evaluate the bleed, poison, and ignite uh, damage penalty for all minions, as it is currently a bit too harsh. So damn, so the minions got hit really fucking hard based on this last uh, update. And then, adjusted the cost and uh, reservation multipliers for various support gems. Okay, cool. Let's see. All right, support gem specific. Oh, god damn. Oh, so they just changed it back. So they upped all these by 10% more. And then that, that, so like from 120 to 130, that was a big ass plus. I mean, I noticed it. It basically made it so it's a lot harder to use all your skills because you just are being drained so hard on mana. And it's just, yeah, so that's good. Overall, looks like 
if it was 10 point, uh, yeah, 10 percent less on everything for the most part. Yeah, if it was 130, it's 120 again. 150, it's 140 again. Yeah, okay, cool. So nice. Yeah, all that. I like it. So support gems. I mean, that was the nerf, right? But not anymore. Yeah, now now they're back to normal for the most part. Yeah, they were. Yeah, anything that was 10% uh, higher all got dropped back down to the old values. Probably just due to the fact that everything's harder to kill, it got better. So let's see here. Next one. Bug fixes. We fixed a bug where the skeletal mages were dealing far less damage with cold and fire projectiles compared to the lightning projectiles. They all now have the same average damage equal to the average of all the previous base damage. Uh, fixed the bug where skeletal mages... Oh, so skeletal mages were screwed. <laughs> cold and lightning projectiles could not deal a critical hit. Damn. Damn. All right. So skeletons were fucked. Uh, fixed the bug where item quality modifiers did not affect drops for some items such as the crescent splinters, sacred blossoms, and the expedition artifacts. Oh, well, that makes sense, because I didn't get a lot of stuff myself. I was like, whatever. Um, let's see here. Fixed a bug where uh, Medved Feller of Heroes could deal damage after death. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, fixed a bug where ex excavated chests and expedition could come on underneath uh, naturally occurring chests, causing the excavated chest to be inaccessible. Oh, that sucks. Uh, fixed a bug where expedition encounters would be in empty areas, such as the pyram ancient pyramid or veil pyramid maps. Ah, interesting. Fix a bug where completing a upgrade a modifier level crafting off from ROG would not grant credit towards the broker deals with ROG challenge. Oh, that sucks. I, I got all that for the most part. Uh, let's see here. Fix a bug where monsters had 0% uh, maximum spell block. They now have 75% maximum spell block. Uh, Fix a bug where Helena's available, uh, available items in Act 7 would not refresh after you leveled up. Interesting. And then uh, fix the bug where you could not purchase partial stacks of currency from vendors with shift click. Oh. Huh. Interesting. I didn't think about... Oh, that's cool. Okay. Right, that's pretty cool. Uh, fix the bug where online item filters could fail to load. Cool. And fix an instance crash related to summon Reaper. So there you guys go. Honestly, it's a good one. It's a quick one. Um, but yeah. They posted this one literally, well, I guess, damn, second 2.30 a.m. his time. We're carrying to New Zealand, but for us here on the Pacific Standard Time in the U.S. of A., we, uh, it's 8.02 right now. So I think they said it takes 8. Yeah, so I think it was going to restart at 8, and we're going to be seeing this. I got another 8 minutes to wait, but there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, that's the patch notes. It's a good one. Overall, it's a fix. They changed all the support gems back, so we should have more mana. And it should be pretty solid. And a lot of bug fixes overall. That's good. I like bug fixes. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. There you go. Enjoy. I guess if you had any gigantic setup, you should have, hopefully, 50% more mana. Yeah, if you think about it. If you had a six link with five and those supports all took an extra 10%, you just freed up 50% of your mana. Holy shit, what a difference. All right, guys. Thank you much for watching. I'll see you guys out there. Later. Freeze. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire. I'm a human.